Welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas Fletcher and I'm the host of the LCSW Network. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor by smashing that like button, by subscribing to the channel, and by sharing this video with your social work colleagues and friends. The purpose of this channel is to create a community of hope and support where social workers can come together for relevant news, information, and inspiration. Okay, let's get to today's news release. So the National Association of Social Workers and the Council on Social Work Education condemned the removal of the Texas State Board of Social Work Examiners of a rule prohibiting social workers from discriminating against clients based on the client's sexual orientation, gender identity, gender expression, or disability. This regulatory change enacted October 12th at the request of Texas Governor Greg Abbott without any public comment creates significant barriers to mental health and social care services for vulnerable Texans. Eliminating this rule is an unconscionable stealth attempt to stifle progress toward full equality and minimizes the leadership social workers have demonstrated in advancing social justices, said Angelo McLean, CEO of NASW. NASW and CSWE call for the rule, which was added to Texas Social Work Code in 2012, without objection by the governor, to be restored immediately. Further, these protections should be codified in state statute, which already prohibits discrimination based on race, religion, or age. Texas statute does not recognize sexual orientation, gender identity, gender expression, and disability as protected classes. Although individuals are protected under other state and federal statutes, such as the American with Disabilities Act, it is essential that these protections also be explicitly articulated in the Social Work Code of Conduct because these rules provide the guiding framework for day-to-day -day social work practice. Social workers are educated to recognize, reject, and resolve discriminatory practices and ensure that any person has access to critical mental and physical health services. Additionally, social workers are educated to recognize and manage any impact of their personal biases when working with diverse clients and constituencies. The updated regulation flies in the face of the core competencies that have guided the profession for decades. Every person has a right to quality mental and physical care, and any regulation that seeks to infringe on that right should be struck down, said CSWE President and CEO Darla Spence Coffee, PhD, MSW. High proportions of LGBTQ individuals and people with disabilities experience challenges in mental health, including depression and anxiety. They also face hurdles in meeting their basic needs, including housing and employment. Many of these individuals do not receive the services that they need due to implicit or explicit discrimination. The current public health, economic, and racial injustice pandemics only exacerbate these challenges and underscore the need for a fully available social workforce. Social workers are called by the NESW Code of Ethics to not discriminate or oppress any group or person for any reason and to speak out against systems that seek to do so. CSWE and NASW and the hundreds of thousands they, of social workers, educators, students we represent will continue to promote anti-discrimination protections, not only in Texas, but throughout the country. Okay, so let me know your thoughts about this topic. I'm, I'm really, really happy to see that 
NASW and CSWE have publicly announced their, their positions against this Texas uh, ruling, which is a really a, a horrible, horrible um, policy change. But let me know your thoughts about this topic. Um, I do want to thank you for watching this video. And again, please continue to support each other and yourselves. Bye for now.